see the dinghies that are filling the St. Augustine Marina right now. A lot of boaters have brought their ships in. They've either brought them to the marina or they've uh, dropped anchor out in the Matanzas River to wait out this storm. And for some boaters we talked with, taking this detour was really just a no brainer for their safety. You can't be scared to be living on a boat. I've been doing it for four and a half years now and it's not made for anybody that fears too easy. Captain James Wilhoyt says he's had to anchor through his fair share of hurricanes and tropical storms on his boat in those four and a half years. But with company along for this voyage and the fact they've had some rough weather at times since they set sail from the Carolinas in December, he decided to play it safe with stormy weather rolling through. And being a captain of my own uh, sailboat and my vessel, I got, I'm responsible for her life. Will Hoyt decided to pay for a mooring spot in St. Augustine instead of just anchoring in the Matanzas River because he says it's safer. Money is tight right now, but he got creative to find a way to pay for it. So. We didn't even have enough money for a mooring spot. I sold my Megadon uh, shark tooth last night to one of the other boaters here, and that's what got us the money to make sure our boat was safe. The peace of mind of being moored is worth the price, and Will Hoyt is confident it won't take too long to replace that tooth in his collection. I'll they find another one. Great. I dive and everything, so I just like the one in my ear. I found that, and we make jewelry, stuff like that. James and Holly are playing it safe, but they're hoping it doesn't take too long to wait out this storm because they do have plans to head on down to Daytona for next weekend's Daytona 500, where they want to work the race. In St. Augustine, Zach Wilcox, First Coast News, on your side.